so GameStop actually, so GameStop actually has an insane deal going on right now at the, the time of, of recording where they have a buy two get one free on like collectibles and trading cards are included now i don't know if every tcg product that's included but the three i got today are included the first product i ended up getting was a kingdra ex box now gamestop has these on their website at full retail if you're a pro member you get i think 10 percent off i tried to buy multiple in hopes that maybe just maybe i could get a greninja but no i ended up getting two kingdra unfortunately gamestop um the way they work is it's like one at random so i thought maybe i'd get lucky and get a king uh grand ninja unfortunately i got two kingdra which is the one i've gotten before and then i ended up getting this thing i have yet to open this up the combined powers premium collection this thing retails for like 49.99 it's on sale at gamestop for 41.99 pro members get it for 39.99 and then like the website had it for like another eight dollars off i paid like 31 dollars for this so i paid 31 for this 28 for one of the kingdra boxes and i got the last kingdra box free so to me that was kind of a steal so today we're going to take our time and we're going to open up each of these boxes and see if these 70 or so dollars i paid for these three boxes combined is worth it so let me know down in the comment section below today if you think that this purchase was worth it and if you plan to capitalize on gamestop's new deal now this box right here we get Jumbo Lugia. Pretty cool looking Lugia card. We'll put that in the background. You get your promo cards. I'm going to try to get these out safely. Now, the thing that I like about these promo cards is these, I think, come in the trading card classic box, which is like hundreds of dollars. So if you wanted to get them for cheaper, you could just pick up this box here. Get a nice, beautiful uh, foil Mr. Mime. Lugia EX. Ho -O -E -X, and then the trainer cards i don't believe these are promos these are from the collector's box they're like based out of numbers 34 um yeah they're all 34 so that's pretty cool those are really nice those are great additions to the collection and then i believe you get 11 booster packs so for 40 bucks it's not a bad deal if you want a lot of booster packs and some nice exclusive cards I believe it splits up Scarlet, Violet, Paradox Rift, and Obsidian Flames. Four Obsidian Flames, four Paradox, and three Scarvi. So we're going to see if these 11 packs can give us some fire. Out of 11 packs of Modern, Scarlet, and Violet, we're hoping for four hits. So let's see if we can get anything good. For uh, Scarvi, I'm only hunting Illustration Rares and Golds. Our Believa, our Believe I Can Fly. So, with Scarvide, I think this is a set outside of Stellar Crown because I have completed Stellar Crown that I'm closest to completing. So, if I can get one of the few cards that I'm hoping to add to my collection, that would be nice. Unfortunately, just an Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge is done by Akira Agawa, so that's nice. Last pack of Scarlet and Violet. And this is the only Scarlet and Violet base in this video, so if we don't get anything out of here, then I'm gonna have to buy these singles. Growlithe, Weasel, and a Magnazone. Okay, I'll take a Magnazone. Magnazone's okay. Unfortunately, that's only one hit. Now, out of all these sets I'm opening up today, I'm gonna say Paradox for last, because if I get a big hit, I want it to be Paradox. Paradox is the set that I have the least from because I did not open up Paradox Rift on release. I was doing my student teaching program and I was get, not getting paid. So I did not have money to open up Paradox on release. So if I get any hits, I want it to be Paradox Rift. First pack of Obsidian Flames, nothing too groovy out of that one. Now Obsidian Flames, I wouldn't mind a special illustration rare from this set either. But I think out of all the cards from this set that I want, I want the Ninetales Illustration Rare. So far, we're not hitting anything good. Maybe my theory about GameStop packs, for me exclusively, is going to come true again today. I don't buy from GameStop because I have a theory that I just don't have good luck with GameStop packs. Like, no matter how much I open up GameStop packs... 
I tend to do very poor. The packs tend to do really bad for me. So I don't shop at GameStop for my cards. I shop at Target, my LGSs, and even Walmart before I choose GameStop. Because Obsidian Flames went 0 for 4. So, so far, a $40 box. Now, give or take, I did get a box free. But a $40 box, and all we walked away with is a Magnezone. So now we're at Paradox Rift. There are plenty of cards from Paradox Rift I would love to pull. Um, illustration Rare, Special Illustration Rare. Hey, Chantal. That's pretty nice. Got a Chantal Full Art. But we're hoping for something a little bit bigger than just a regular Full Art Trainer. We're hoping for at least two more hits. So I'm hoping these last two packs end up giving us some fire. Come on, the Yamask pack, give us some luck. Technical machine. Okay, I'll take a Mewtwo EX. I know I needed this for the collection. I have yet to pull Mewtwo EX. I was surprised that Mewtwo never got that special illustration rare treatment, but I have a theory that at the end of the uh, Scarlet and Violet era, we're going to get another Crown Zenith-like set. And they're going to take all of these amazing Pokemon that they did not give special illustration rares. And we're going to see those Pokemon get that special illustration rare love. All right. Well, that was all for that box. $40 box for um, maybe $3 worth of cards. The promos are nice, but this is definitely why I waited for some kind of sell like this to buy this box. Um, as much as I love the sets that we opened up today, especially Obsidian Flames and Scarlet and Violet, uh, 40 especially $50 if you buy it at MSRP for this box, uh, not definitely worth it. So now we're going to open up our Kingdra boxes. I think you guys have already seen these Kingdra promos, so I'm going to leave them in the packaging and just get out the 10 packs to see if we can get something groovy. Now, the Kingdra promo is nice. I will definitely look at the quality of both of those and see if maybe, just maybe, we got a PSA 10 copy. Because having a PSA 10 of the Kingdra and even the Greninja would be cool. Alright, so, Monkey Dory Pack. Any SIR, any IR, and any gold from this set would be nice because I don't own any of them. My luck with this set has been absolute ass water since I pulled my first and only um, uh, IR from the set, which was Persian. The amazing Persian done by Whisker. So, we're gonna hope that we get something. Hey, I'll take it. Cassiopeia, that's nice. That's a beautiful full art trainer. Pulled the uh, SIR live stream and during one of my breaks. But I will take the uh, ultra rare as well. That was nice. Sylveon. Slitherwing. And Haxorus. So not so... Uh, we're actually getting some decent reverses. We got the reverse uh, energy, by the way. So, not too bad. And we got a full art trainer, which is always nice. But out of 10 packs, we're definitely wanting more than just a full art trainer. So, we're going to hope that out of these next six packs, this, uh, this last pack from this box and the whole next box, that we got maybe two... And if we're lucky, maybe even three hits. Kingdra EX. Okay. I actually think I do need Kingdra EX in my collection, so I'll take it. Now, last Kingdra box. Let's see if we can get anything good out of this last box. All right, come on, okie dokie. Give me a good pull. 
Okie dokie EX box coming up. Or not EX box coming up. Yeah, uh, okie dokie pack coming up. Hopefully we get an okie dokie EX. <laughs> I was meaning the SIR, but you know what? I called it. I was like, hopefully we get an okie dokie EX. I was uh, hoping for the SIR. But, I mean, at least we got something, right? That's cool. Persian, Toxicroak, and Haxorus. If I get any regular EXs, I think personally I prefer to get uh, um, the Pheasantipity because it's playable. Man, this set is not treating me good either. Two packs left. Let's see if we can get something groovy. I want this GameStop deal to pay off with at least one big hit. It's only 20 packs, I know, but you always want to get at least one hit and not an okie dokie. Last pack. Can we get some magic? Furfru, Dartrix, Absol, Hound Doom, Power Glass, Iron Moth, Cassiopeia, Varum, Decidueye, and another Haxorus. I feel like I've pulled four of that guy. So, while the deal is good, I think my luck with GameStop is still striking. I know we got two full art trainers, but out of all those packs, um, our pools weren't the bestest. Like, the two full art trainers are nice. Chantal and Cassiopeia, pretty nice. But overall, definitely uh, definitely still feels like $70 wasted, even though we got one of the boxes free. We did get some really, really cool promos. And the reason I picked up these boxes because I do not have any of these cards in my collection. So I wanted to add every single one of them. I will also be able to sort through these and see if there's any of these amazing cards I need in reverse foil for an upgrade. But with that being said, guys... That is it for today's video. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think this GameStop deal is a good one? Do you think it's a bad one? I still think buy two, get one free is good. And if you have good luck with GameStop packs, which is seemingly non-existent for me, it may be a great deal for you to buy. For me personally, I do think it's still a great deal. Even if you are if you have bad luck with your packs like me. I spent $70 for, what is it? Like $110 worth of boxes. So it's not a bad deal at all when it comes to saving some money. But with that being said, guys... That's all for today's video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.